You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Can we all agree today? Let's be nice to each other. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. You can see the excellent footwear that we are currently rocking today. That's right. Megazord slippers. Megazord slippers. Uh, we feel cool. You should feel cool if you have these. We love a good opportunity for dress up. So uh, we're going to go into, thank you for the close up. Uh, <laughs> they are just as much fun as you think they're going to be. The slipper features a physical and clearly recognizable Dino Megazord head atop the front of the slipper, which also bears the image of the Dino Megazord chest plate. The Sabertooth Tiger and Triceratops seem out of place because they are the generic images that other licensees use and they don't follow the design scheme of the Slipper's Megazord, which leads me to believe they may have been added on last minute so the Slipper's sides wouldn't be blank. There's no distinction between the left and right Slipper which streamlines the manufacturing process. I would have preferred the Slipper's sides to have been an image of the Megazord's arms or just solid black or red. Will I buy? Nah. We are very excited to welcome an Omega Rangers four pack from our Boom Comics series. The Omega Rangers did make their debut in the Boom Comics Studios series. I believe it was Necessary Evil, which includes Jason, uh, Zach, Trini, and a new comic character, Kia, who is an alien. And uh, check out these figures. They look so good. So part of the tricky uh, aspect of adapting characters that come from a comic book series is that many um, comic artists have like personal quirks and touches. Fans of the Omega Rangers can finally have them as figures. Only being sold as a group and not individually indicates a lack of confidence in the product. The Omega Rangers are a safe option because they originate from MMPR. The figures look decent. Will I buy? Nah, I'd only buy Zack if I could get him individually. So I just want to uh, stress like not only did uh, he lend his amazing voice uh, to the product and um, showcase uh, like all new recorded lines uh, full of a lot of Easter eggs and, and fun callbacks that Ranger fans might recognize. He was also um, a very big, big advocate for Power Rangers fans as a group and for this product being made as well. We don't usually get to put vac metal on toys anymore and yes. so this is, a, this is a very exciting moment. Slide your fingers in, button on the side. Crystal powered morpher, Z05, activate. If you could hear that, sorry, I was pointing it towards my mic in the hopes that you could hear it. Fans have wanted this morpher since its first appearance in 2018. This morpher is plastic. Tommy is generally regarded as the most popular ranger, so products based on him have higher sales potential. This morpher will be great as a display piece and an interactive roleplay item. Will I buy? Nah. This is the opening of episode one of Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Roll the clip. This looks like a serious battle as it involves the Morphin Masters and also each ranger is fighting a general. This clip is an advertisement for Cosmic Fury. I like the camera work being done and the scale and the significance of the battle. Will I watch? Of course! If you are super excited about Cosmic Fury, make sure that you check out our new Cosmic Fury Morpher that is part of our Power Rangers Kid line, available wherever fine kids toys are sold. It's pretty cool. 20 light and sound effects. Makes yes. you look extra neat. Yes. Delightful. New, new Cosmic Morpher design. All, all original exclusive to Power Rangers. Please yeah. check it out. It was emphasized that this is part of the kid line. It looks like a cheap knockoff. Younger audiences may not care much about design or quality, so it can be more profitable to make products targeted for them due to being able to cut corners in the manufacturing process. More thought was put into the packaging than the product. Will I buy? No. If you order your new Selfie Series 2.0 figure this weekend, your figure will come with one of three. If you get the Power Rangers figures, they'll come with these stands. If you get figures from another brand, they will come with their own unique branded stands. They are beautiful and definitely not something that you are going to want to miss in your collection. They come with stands. The price was lowered. The stands look a little cheap, but it's better than nothing. Reducing the price and adding more accessories, even for a limited time, is a good way to boost sales. I would buy the figure stand if it was sold separately. Will I buy? Nah. Make sure you are checking out the newest Super 7 Ultimates wave for Power Rangers. Four amazing new figures. I think we have some pictures that we can pull up for them. Let's see if I have said the yes. magic words. I did say the magic words. Excellent. So 
four all new figures. That's right, there is a black and gold MMPR Megazord, a glowing MMPR Green Ranger, that and then. Cool. Oh, I, I don't know if there, this is actually the first time in action figure form, but certainly the first time I have seen them, uh, Bulk and Skull coming to the Super 7 Ultimate Sign. Jordan, this is beautiful. I love this. <laughs> so, always great. I love a good Megazord figure. Looking sharp. Yep. Looking when sharp. all of the great accessories that you have come to know and love from the Ultimates line. Classic. Next up, we have... Ooh, Bulk and Skull, let's delightful. go! Those face sculpts are, are doing great. Great job, Super 7 team. Bulk and Skull get figures. Fans of the black and gold Dino Megazord get another figure. Some fans may be displeased that the Green Ranger is getting a more expensive re-release while other figures were cancelled. Fans may also be displeased that additional accessories can only be obtained through a bundled purchase instead of being sold separately. Bulk and Skull rarely get figures, so these will be the figures to get if fans want Bulk and Skull in their collections. Restricting certain products to bundled purchases can help boost sales. Re-releasing a figure with minor changes is a way to sell the same figure twice. I appreciate Bulk and Skull getting a release. Will I buy? Nah, but I'd be interested in civilian ranger figures. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one. <laughs>